Hey guys, how's it going? This is Nat Nader, and welcome to another creepy pasta reading. This one is an interesting instruction type story titled Tunnels. Now, as always, turn out the lights, get comfortable, and let the story begin. Before I begin, there are two pieces of information you must consider. Have you ever noticed that whenever a mirror is reflected into another mirror, after multiple reflections, it begins to fade into a darker and greener infinity? The mirror can be cracked or completely unblemished. It simply does not matter. The light will always disappear and greenify the deeper the reflection tunnel runs. It is not wise for one to purposely create these tunnels, but for the curious, which I'm assuming you are, they are at least very interesting. Secondly, yes, your doppelganger does live as your immediate reflection on the surface of the mirror. The good news is, they're harmless. They live as you do, as clueless as you when they see you in their reflection. Why should they question your intentions when they have none themselves? They live with as much or as little peace as you do in a single reflection. It need not matter the day, place, or position of the moon for this to occur. Though, the darker it is, the easier it is for them to approach. It would also be a good idea to note the precise time at which you begin for reasons that will be made clear later. You must have two large mirrors facing each other, with roughly one meter between them. Stand between them, and do not make a sound. In fact, the location you choose must be free from any extraneous noises. This is of the most utmost importance. They frighten easily, especially in the beginning. You must be able to see your entire reflection in the mirror you decide to face. Count as many frames as you possibly can over your reflection's shoulder, until the greenness and darkness swallows the last remnants of the reflection. Depending on the amount of light in your location, this should take anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. Feel free to take your time. As your eyes strain to count the last visible frame, you should notice pale shapes emerge in the furthest green of the mirror tunnel before they retreat into their infinity again. This may just be a trick of the mind at first, but slowly you'll begin to see them more and more frequently. Once they begin appearing at more and more regular intervals, you may notice an uneasy expression appear on your reflection's face, although you may feel your own face at ease. Step out from between the mirrors immediately at this point. Exit the room you are in and lock the door behind you. They have awakened. If, on the second day, you feel as curious as the first, you may repeat the same process as described above. It must begin at the exact same time you had started the previous day, hence having written it down. Those things that you have glimpsed at for only a few seconds may reappear more readily if you have earned their favor. Your reflection may appear a bit shaken, but that is only a trick of the mind and nothing you need to worry about. Once you've finished counting back as many frames as possible, blink only once to refocus yourself. You should not close your eyes again. Not that you actually could if you wanted to. You may begin to notice that they appear not only in the darkest frame of the tunnel, but now in closer frames. 
You can't make out anything that could be considered a face, give or take the blur of what could resemble teeth. Don't let your curiosity blind you. Looking for human similarities in them is fruitless, even though you will continue to try to understand them. If they ever appear in any frame less than six away from your own reflection, they have become too comfortable with you and you with them. They have become too beautiful to ignore. You've become too focused on them to notice your own reflection, pointing, warning you about the thing reaching through the mirror behind you.